Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D. Um, and in this lesson, we're talking about this awesome new loft tool which we have over here on my dashboard off of our 3D Make Control panel. And I've just started off, I've got a little bit of geometry, nothing much on this uh, drawing so far, nothing up my sleeve. And all I'm going to do is there's really three ways to um, use the loft tool. We can use the cross section only. We can um, use a uh, path or we can use um, guidelines. And what I'll actually do is uh, skip back to my initial slide here and explain a little bit. So with the lofting with the cross section, all you have to do is provide um, lines that are um, closed and in fact I don't even think they have to be closed it'll close it for you but you provide a series of lines that change elevation somehow and follow some sort of route and this you know is very uniform because uh, I've tried to keep it simple but any sort of cross section basically you dr you provide the slices and then it will it will loft the um, m new solid over those objects so I've kept it fairly straightforward the second one is path which we've seen before um, and but it's again new and improved and in here we provide uh, a path and we provide again cross section so I can put as many circles as I want along here and I say loft these three objects picking them in in the correct order always pick them in the correct order and then you say P for path and it'll loft it over that and the last one we have our guidelines where we are lofting the cross section is this bottom octagon and the top uh, so the the two octagons here are the cross section they all use cross section this one uses cross section only this uses cross section and a path this uses cross section and um, guidelines and I could have more cross sections in here and I can have more ununiform guidelines so we'll just kind of go through that so to start off with I'm just gonna take this and all I'm gonna do start from grassroots is I'm gonna say offset through gonna pick on here pick on here and pick to get basically some points okay then I'm gonna go to my nice 3d view and use my new uh, because I'm not in wireframe this next move won't move if I'm in wireframe I have to go to a 3d view I'm gonna pick on this object hover over here drag up and type in 5 hit escape I'm gonna pick on this next object I'm gonna go over here click drag up and type in 10 I'm gonna click on this last object hover over here click drag up 15 so now I've got those objects basically raised up and I can look at that from the front if I want or I can look at it back from my 3d angle now I can go to my loft tool and I'm gonna it's gonna say select cross-section in lofting order so one two three four enter and I'm gonna use cross sections only hit and enter and then it's gonna bump me into my lofting um, option surface control at the cross section do you want it to be ruled do you want it to be smooth fit normal to and then you can experiment with some of these okay um, drafting angles you can apply those in there as well start start magnitude etc be careful because the busier it gets the more horsepower it's going to take and the more complicated the curve the more uh, um, horsepower you'll need in your computer so preview changes is nice because as you go through here and you click on here you can see that you know what happens as you make your changes inside of here the preview very nice okay magnitude etc not sure what these are normal to okay smooth drafting angles etc and then hit OK and there's your new lofted surface that you've created okay so experiment with that you can go back and uh, shift middle mouse button maybe click right on it then shift middle mouse button rotate that around 
So just kind of lofting and there's many, many different ways you can do that. But that's really, it's not a difficult command. Now I can go back to here. I'm going to do the second one. I'm going to start by drawing a line. Okay. First time I tried this experiment, I drew a polyline and then used the arc option of the polyline and then the line segment part of the polyline, but it didn't work. Um, so I'm reverting back to just drawing um, lines and then filleting with a radius of 5. Okay, maybe even make that a bigger radius. Fillet radius 10. Okay. No. Uh, radius of 7. Fillet radius 5. There we go. Sorry about that. And then drag this. My point being is that when I first tried to set up this demonstration, um, I noticed that I just drew a polyline like this and then use the arc option of the polyline and then use the line option with my ortho like this and created the polyline right off the bat that way. Okay, and it didn't seem to work, so you may run into the same thing. So now I'm going to go P edit for polyline edit, pick on here, J for join, join those up. Now, now I have a polyline. Okay, just some extra added little setup here for you. Now I'm going to use my new cool 3D rotate command, pick on here, enter, base point here. The axis that I want to rotate around is this one. Click on here, ortho on from here up to there. Okay. Now I have that. Now I can go look at the front view if I want, and I can stretch that, do what I want with it, use my grips, etc. Go back to my isometric view. Okay, now I'm going to get sneaky and use my UCS command. UCS, enter, 3P, enter for 3 point, and I'm going to say origin is here, X is here, Y is there, and now my I can draw right at the end of that. Now I can draw a circle, okay, in the end of here, drag it out, place a circle. Now I'm going to type UCS, enter, W, enter for world. Go back and draw another circle at this end point down here. Draw another circle, make sure I snap to somewhere along here, something like that. Okay, now as I shift and rotate around here, can see that there's my objects. Here we go again. Loft, select the cross section first, no matter what, enter, and then I'm going to say P for path, pick my path, and there's my object. Ta da! Okay, click on here, shift middle mouse button, move that around. Then you can use all our other great slice tools and whatever you want. Okay, So that's again just a sample Okay, of how you can do that. There's many other ways of doing it. Okay, Let's take this guy, move him up. Hover over here. Pick there, move up by maybe 15 units. Hit escape. Okay, Now I'm going to go to the front view and I'm going to draw an arc from the end point of here out to here to the end point of there. And I'm going to go look at that in 3D and then say, OK, that looks good. Go back to here. Zoom in over here. Get ready to array these around. So now I can just use my array command. And I don't have a toolbar up, so I'll type it in. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to say select objects here. Enter. I'm going to say rotate items as they're copied. I'm going to say I want eight items over 360 degrees. Polar, center point, I'm going to pick here and I'm going to hover and, and place a node. Hover, place a node, and then I'm going to go in the middle of that using my object tracking. Pick, and then I'll do a preview, and then I'll hit accept. Okay, then I can go to my 3D view, and now I have that ready. Now I can take these if I want you know, and start to drag these around using my grips. Oh, you have to be careful because your object snap will get in your way. Make some some slight imperfections to this so it's not exactly a basketball. Okay, as I please, it doesn't matter. What's going to happen now is we say loft, select our cross section here, 
enter we're going to say guidelines G for guidelines and I'm just going to do a crossing box through there hit enter oh something wrong okay well let's just do an undo back and before we did those um, those grip changes and see if we can get it to work this time here and here enter guidelines Oh, the selected entities are not valid so I've got a problem and for some reason that uh, geometry hasn't been working and I do a lot of experimenting and stuff uh, between uh, um, CAD clips here so what I'm going to do I'm going to start fresh by just going in here and going file and new new file right off the bat and I'm going to start right in here by doing a creating my geometry again by creating a polygon by saying eight sides and center is here and I will use my ortho and inscribe to place that okay then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna offset it through say here now I'm gonna to go to my front view oh I need to move that up 3d view switch over to one of these so then I can click on here drag this up 20 units high okay go back to my front view draw an arc from make sure I get the end point of there to somewhere over here and I want the end point of there okay back to my top view and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to array it I'm going to use eight objects, select this, enter, center point is going to be hovering here, here, there, do a preview and accept it. Okay, back to here, cross my fingers, try this again, loft, here's my objects, enter, guidelines, pick, enter, and there we have our shape that we tried so hard to get now I'm going to undo this back once you have that you can start to do it I was going taking my O snap off maybe grab some of these and make some imperfections in here because it doesn't have to be exactly you know smooth all the way around okay do another loft oh pick these two objects as my section G for guidelines here grits that shape go into in here add some materials etc so following those guidelines and again I can have more than one cross section in here to form um, that kind of free form shape that I'm getting and remember the more complex you make this the more horsepower you're going to need on your computer